we need to be people of integrity. But you know that the pressure out there is hot. And sometimes we are not able to do what we intend to do. We need to pray. We want to read Genesis 32. Jacob sent messengers ahead of him to his brother Esau in the land of Seir, the country of Edom. He instructed them, This is what you are to say to my lord Esau. Your servant Jacob says, I have been staying with Laban, and I have remained there till now. I have cattle and donkeys, sheep and goats, male and female servants. Now, I am sending this message to my Lord, that I may find favor in your eyes. When the messengers returned to Jacob, they said, Jacob got up and took his two wives, his two female servants and his eleven sons and crossed the ford of the Jabbok. Sometimes it looks like you are two. There's a part of you that loves righteousness. And then there's a part of you that wants to do evil. This is a man who is using his mind. But at the same time, he's praying to the Almighty God. He's scheming. He sends his servants forward. They should take the lead with gifts. And then following is the concubines and the children of the concubines. Following is the woman he actually did not love and the children. Following is the one he really loved and the children. Telling himself that if they conquer the first, they will know what to do. So by the time they conquer the servants, no problem. Then if they conquer the children of the concubines, okay, that one is no problem. And then Leah's children, no problem. Rahel and the children last. And then he himself was at the back. Meanwhile, he's praying to God, oh God. Then he waited. In the night, something happened. Jacob was left alone. And a man wrestled with him till daybreak. The man asked him, What is your name? Jacob! Your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel, because you have striven with God as well as with men, and you have prevailed. He asked him a simple question. What is your name? Because 21 years ago, his father asked him, What is your name? And he said, I am Esau. 21 years later, there's only one question that he has to answer right. So what is your name? From today, your name is going to be changed. You are going to be called Israel. One other interpretation of Israel is God will make the connection. Then, Jack, what is your name? What is your real name? What is your real name? Shall we rise? Let us go before God in prayer. Let's go.